kept on the squad. Okay. And um, so that if we're out on a squad call or whatever, that we have our gear with us so we can respond to the scene or hopefully the other stations weren't in service. They were able to take fire trucks and go to the scene and then we could just go and we have our gear with us. Very nice, very nice. Uh, um, and a squad is, you know, they're pretty basic. Are you know, they the similar to like an them. ambulance? Yeah, it is. It's, a squad is just another word for an ambulance. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's, um, it's got the necessary tools for taking care of pretty much any situation you can imagine because in the fire industry you see pretty much any situation you can imagine. Yeah, very nice. Some of it's terrible, some of it's very heartbreaking, mm -hmm. but you gotta kind of check your emotions and focus on the job at hand so that the patient has the best opportunity. Very true. The best chance. Very, very true. And the same is true when you're responding on these big, loud, flashy fire trucks. So um, this sometimes it's crazy and yeah. stressful and bad things are happening to people. Yeah. But you gotta kind of not react to that so much. Right. At least at the time, because it's, it's you're not able, you don't have the time for that. Absolutely. Do that later, it's part of the job. Right. right. To get there and get focused on what you have to do and do that as safely as possible. Right. So that whoever's in, in trouble has the best chance. So it's right. important to be like calm in a situation that can be chaotic. It is. That, Sometimes yeah. that seems yeah. impossible, but yeah. um, really just kind of getting control of your emotions and your excitement. And the younger we are, the more difficult that is to do. Mm -hmm. I think like anything else, as you do it more and more, you get better, you get more comfortable. It doesn't create as much anxiety. Right. And you don't get jacked up as much. So right. I'm sure you're familiar with that expression. Yes. Speaking of jacked up, I think it's a good time to talk about young Garrett Sellers. No, and by jacked up, I mean he has <laughs> juice that we were talking about. Yes. He was talking about fires and everything, and I'm like, well, we try not to talk a whole lot of it. Yeah, right. You're going to like when you meet Garrett because this is exactly what he wants. Yep. He wants to be doing more fire. Unfortunately mm -hmm. for that, it's only probably 10 or 15% of our job is fire responses. The rest oh. of it is the squad. But in my opinion, from the old guy here, it's, it's better to have less calls because that means less people are having problems and their stuff right. is burning up. And, right. Because the very worst happens and the, the, the less of those mm -hmm. and the less chances something terrible like that's going to happen, you know? Yeah. yeah. But I'm going to turn you over to Gary here because he's got the fire to tell you about the fire trucks and about fire scenes and that he's grown up wanting to be a firefighter and look, now he is. Yeah. So Garrett, this is T-Bird. Okay. Tristan is his real name. Mm -hmm. right. T-Bird, this is Garrett. Nice, nice to meet you, Garrett. And he's filming, and he has an agent too, so you can't really see any of that. <laughs> you have to get a control. You have to get a signature from his agent. Right? Okay. So you're he's kidding. Right. He's kidding. I'll send autographs <laughs> later from my. Video. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the truck and the gear, and, and I'll be right back. I'm just gonna take a little break. I'll be back. Um, so pay attention to what he has to say. Yep. He's, he's done the journey that it seems like you want, and he's here. He's done it successfully. Yep. Right. Thank you. All right. You just want to have a look over the engine? I'll kind of show you all, right. all the stuff we kind of got in here. Have you ever been to a fire station before? I've been to the one in Ripman, but I've never really had a tour like this. A tour like this? Yeah. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad you got a chance to do that today because, uh, I mean, we'll be able to just kind of go over and kind of, I'll even bring on air pack if you want to put it on or whatever. Sure. Let's do it. I see the siren right there. The yep. Fiverr Q siren. Yeah, that's right. You know it's a Q. Uh-huh. Awesome. Yep. I'll, you wanted to be a firefighter ever since you were a kid? Yeah, since I was about eight. Really? Uh -huh. So I think mine, I was like five or something. My dad's oh, well. a fireman over at Ashley. Yeah. Um, so I just grew up around it and I just, I grew to really enjoy it. And I thought yeah. it was a cool job. You so want to sign the coup for a, for a split second? Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. Um, Let's go for so it. We've got some different stuff. This is like your officer seat. Okay? Yeah. Um, that guy you talked about there, he's mm -hmm. my lieutenant. He's my officer. Okay. He'll sit up here. When we roll up to a fire scene, he's going to be the guy that's going to give your initial size up, right. tell you what's going on, you know. Um, where a hydrant's at, where to get water, right, or, right. or tell me what to do, because I'm a firefighter, I'll be sitting mm -hmm. in the back um, and doing that. The other guy that you saw that was in that training room, he's mm -hmm. the pump operator for the day, so he'll be the driver. Oh, but this is just the officer seat. We have just some cool stuff here. Yeah. Um, Does the um, officer um, side actually have um, a Q um, siren as well? It, yes, it does. Okay. Yep. Um, so we just have kind of some interesting stuff here. Like, I always like showing people this. We have like a little tech. All right, it just shows heat. So if I put this on your mom here, she, you're gonna be able to see. Uh, so no, it's my counselor. It's I'm my counselor. counselor. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, yes, I just. No, assumed. that's okay. If you actually see him, you're able to see him. Oh like wow. That. Yep. So and if you look through here, 
able to see me. Oh yeah, yeah. that's really nice. Yeah. So that does that help like in a smoky environment? Yep. Okay. So we use that like it could be pitch black. You know, can't see your hand in front of your face. Right. Smoky hot, whatever. You can put this out there and be able to see someone on the floor. You'll be able to kind of make the outline of some stuff. Um, the only thing that it um, doesn't work real well at, like let's see, it. like a window here. Yeah. This window becomes a mirror. Oh, okay. You can see our reflection, so you can always know if you're coming up on a window or an actual mirror in a house. Okay. So, um, yeah, there's interesting things. I always like showing everybody these. I think they're kind of yeah. cool to see. So put that off of that back. I know those things are giant. Yeah, they're pretty big. Um, just here in the back, this is like where I hang out. You can come up here if you want. Okay. Just don't fall off a step or something like that. Nah, I ain't gonna fall. That's good. All right. Um, this is where like I'll sit and fire. I like this seat because we're facing forward. I can see where yeah. we're going. Um, yeah. We have five seats here for whoever. Um, yeah. Lights. Vests, let's see what else. We got like little headsets for radios. But back here, we don't have a lot of tools anymore because they had uh, fire trucks that were crashing and route the scenes and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And um, they had tools in the back they were getting thrown around. So I think they're trying to eliminate that sort of right. a little bit now. So right. we actually have a compartment for that. Oh, nice. If uh, you want, you can try an air pack on if you want to try it. Sure. All right, we'll let you do that down there. All right. Okay, let you step up here. Just to see. Can you get down okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Wow, look at that. Pretty interesting. Now it's kind of heavy, but you just put it on like a backpack. Oh. Here. I can, I can lift 500 pounds any day and every day. Really? Yeah. Look at you. How's it not feel? Not much of a fireman. Running That's up right. and down stairs? Nah, Listen, not too okay. heavy actually. Listen, no, yeah. it's, not, it's not bad. It, it seems heavy at first, but when you put it on, it's really not that heavy. It's not bad. We have like this thing here is a, a little pass device. Mm -hmm. um, it stands for personal accountability safety system, I believe. Right. Um, and basically, like if we stop moving for I think like thirty seconds, like let's just say the roof collapse on us or whatever. Okay. If we stop moving for thirty seconds. This thing will start going off. It's really loud. It's going to help us kind of locate us, and it also serves the double purpose. It tells us how much air is in there. Okay. So this thing will kind of fire up here in a second. Um, let's see. See how it kind of has a little screen that kind of goes. Yeah. So it tells me how much air I got left. Yep. So that's telling me it has 42 pounds of pressure um, in there. That'll last. If you're not like killing yourself in there, or I should say, probably for myself, that would last at least 30 minutes, anyways. Oh. So it gives you a good amount of time. Yeah. We're able to just kind of go through some some of these. Um, the other versions of this air pack will come mm -hmm. with their own personal pass or uh, ticks in them. Yeah. So it looks just like that thing, except it's built in that air pack. Okay. Now so, can I try the um, mask on and see how that feels? All right. All right. Here. So here we have our regulator. This is how we control our air. This yeah. little red valve is like a bypass valve. Okay. So you have to that alarm off. Yep. That's the low air alarm. So that's what it sounds like when you get about, I think it's to um, about 20 okay. on there. You'll start to have that alarm go off. You can go ahead and take that off. Hi. I don't really think that's too heavy. Yeah. I mean, it seems heavy, but in reality, when you put it on your back, it's really not that bad. It's only yeah, what, like 40 pounds? Yeah, no, it's, actually it's probably, like, probably about 40 pounds. Anyways. Yeah. Just a big, heavy hook bag. Right. I'd say probably, I don't know. I'd say that gear probably weighs probably 40, and then you got the air pack, that's another 40. Oh. If you got tools, you're probably carrying 100 pounds worth of stuff. Can we try the gear on? Uh, that probably not, just okay. because if we get a call, I have yeah. to be ready. Okay. That's that happening. makes sense, right, but, Kristen? Yeah. yeah. I'll show I it can to you. Record it now. Sure. Okay. Um, this is our, like, you want to say your first end compartment? Okay? Yeah. So if we're getting ready to go to a fire, I'm going to grab these uh, two tools here. Uh, okay. They're called the Mary tools. This is your Halligan and your axe. You okay. want to remember that for fire school and impress somebody. Yes. Now. Those are the Mary tools. And that's just because those are your two main tools for forcible entry. Yeah, say, like, for example, the door is, like, jammed. You have to, like, use them to pry the door open. Exactly. All right. See here, we have like our hotel packs. Uh, do you know what those are? The hotel packs? Um, are they kind of like like fire resistant, kind of like blankets? 
No, they're actually, um, they're basically like these fold up pieces of hose that you see on top. Oh, okay. And we'll carry those up on like an upper floor or something. Like we have a couple of hotels here that are like six uh, stories. So it's kind of like attack yeah. hoses. Yes, it is. And we'll hook in, they have special, they call them stand pipes in the building. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like a fire hydrant, but for that building, okay. you can hook into it and you'll get water. All right, very cool. So, can it get have, heavy at times? Uh, actually, it's not very heavy. It's pretty light, okay. actually. Um, we have like a little tool here that we can actually force doors. Um, they call it a rabbit tool. Yeah, so we can get into anything. There's okay. nothing. There's really nothing we're not getting into. Very nice, very nice. I'm guessing yeah. this is your average um, a hookup for a hydrant. Yes, we can use that for that. We have more hose on the back if we need okay. it. But if we're real close to a hydrant, we can hook up with that. Okay. Or we can hook up um, to a hydrant to help supply it, FDC, which yeah. is like a sprinkler system for a Yeah, building. now if you have no water in system, will you call a tanker truck to like come help you? We can. Okay. Here, we don't as much because we have okay. hydrants every 300 feet. Yeah, so we have hydrants everywhere in the city. So okay. generally, we will supply the truck from a hydrant or that hydrant will supply another truck that will supply this truck. But okay. we don't need tankers here necessarily. Okay. So uh, how much water does this truck carry? This is 500 gallons. A 500 gallons for a liar truck? That's that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, the one downtown is um, 200 gallons. The one in Ritman is only 300. Yeah, they don't get real big for the ladder. The engines are usually 750. Um, to to a thousand, thousand, yeah, yep. fifteen hundred at the most, which is like a pumper tanker. Yeah, after a thousand, I believe that's when you start getting into the, the tanker. Yeah, the classification. We have ropes and stuff here, mm -hmm. um, search ropes, right. utility ropes, just all that good stuff. Tarps. So we try to keep things clean when we're hauling someone's mm -hmm. house, even though it's burned up. We try not to destroy it worse than right. A bunch of cribbing for like car crashes, um, or that would be the main thing we'd use it for. If we just had to like prop something up or leave it like up high on something that's okay. what we use it for. Lights. Uh, these, these are our fans. Um, we'll use that to push smoke through a house if we're trying to vent out the house after the fire right. or um, kind of control that kind of stuff. Um, makes things a little, a little easier. Yeah. Rather than open up all the doors, we can just use right. the fan to kind of push some things through. So is this a 75 foot ladder? Yeah, how'd oh. you know that? Well, because I know in Ritman they have a, a longer ladder truck and it's 85 feet and it's um it's a double axle instead of a single axle. Okay, yeah, this is yeah. actually a 75 foot ladder. Oh wow! The one uh, downtown is 100 foot. Oh this cool. Is, we call this an engine. It's our engine too, but it's actually I believe the technical term would be like a quint. Yeah, a quint. Yeah, that'd yep. make more sense. Yep. So these are our saws. Um, you know what the K12 does? Um, and I'm pretty sure it like opens like roofs, like you can like use on a roof and yep. open. Yep, you can. You use it on roofs, you can use it on concrete. Um, if you had to get cut through that, you just cut through a metal door, a fence, whatever you really want to do. Okay. Like this one would probably be better if you were going to cut through a fence. It's a little smaller, right. it's electric. Um, these saws here we would use more for roofs because they're wood generally. The right. Shingles, crap like right, right. It's not so bad. And I noticed how you guys have got um, a canopy over the hose bed. Yes. I think all that is for is to make sure the hose does not come out and it looks nice. Yes. That's the main reason. So So uh, this is the um, hose that you hook up to a hydrant and yes. I'm guessing this is like to be like intakes? Uh, this is actually, we would call those pre-connects. Okay. So they're already hooked up to the truck. Oh, we can okay. pull this off okay. and actually use this as a attack line. So that oh. means we're supplying water to it to put out the fire. Okay. Okay. Um, you were right though. This does come from the hydrant. Mm -hmm. We call this uh, LDH, large okay. diameter hose. Yeah. You know, and that's what we'll use. That's four inches, yeah. two and a half, inch and three quarter. Yeah. Over here, button this down. Let's see here. This component is pretty useful too. We just have like spare tools back here. Okay. Um, like spare axes and things like yeah, that. Yeah, and this would be like our overhaul compartment. Like if you were wanting to overhaul the house and stuff like okay. that, you come yeah. back here. Bolt cutters are pretty important. Mm -hmm. um, if we have to cut through a lock or something. Right. Water, we'll have water for us to drink and stuff. That's always yeah, helpful. That way we don't have to, yeah, that way we don't have to drink out of a truck or something yeah. oh, like that. That does not sound appetizing. <laughs> um, this is our rip pack. Okay. So if we have a downed firefighter, we are taking this to rescue them. Because this okay. has a spare bottle. Um, it's 60 pounds of pressure or 6,000 uh, pounds of pressure in there, PSI, um, or sorry, 60,000. And uh, yeah. we'll be able to use that. It has a lot of air in there for a guy. Mm -hmm. um, I see so, a spare auction tank right there. 
Yeah, spare SCBA. Oh, SB, yep. SBA. Yep. Okay. And um, yes, yeah, so that's just another one for a guy to grab when they okay. get off the truck. Now, what happens when like when your air like goes out? Like, how do you refill it? Uh, we have a cascade system. I'll show you all that stuff too. Okay. Bottles on there. I can kind of show you. Okay. What it is. So we have a special system that actually fills the air up. Okay. Extra lights, ground monitor for big water. We can throw a lot of water through this. Oh, it's um, oh, kind of like a deck gun. Exactly like a deck gun, except this one is on the ground. Okay. Yep. So I don't know if you noticed, I didn't really show it to you. That is like our elevated deck gun. So okay. So, so it's like you can like like operate it from uh, right there. And, yes. Okay. And we can actually raise that up 75 feet in the air and oh. spray down on whatever if we That's want. pretty good. Yeah. So what are, oh, I was just about to ask yep. what are, Spare bottles. Uh oh. Yep. Very nice. Yeah, that's where we keep those. And this would be like your pump operating department. You've got okay. spare couplings, hoses, all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Bunch of good stuff in there. Yep. And this looks like this is the main um, side of the pump panel. Yes. So it seems like you actually know quite a bit. So I'll kind of explain yeah. kind of like what it is. It seems like you're pretty interested in it. Well, I've studied firefighting for about five, six years. Really? Uh huh. Awesome. So these here are our discharges, okay? Mm -hmm. They're always above the big uh, master intake here, the yes. steamer, okay? So these are your discharges. Mm -hmm. Inlet, inlet, okay? Yep. That's water going in, water going out. Yeah. This looks really complicated. You look at this and you're like, holy cow, you know? But if you what actually- What lever do I pull? And literally, yeah. I, for most fires, I think you probably pull like four or five. I ain't bad I at mean, all. This, no, I mean, cause you have a lever for like one cross lay. Uh, which of these are pre-connected just like in the rear okay. so we can flow water directly out of these now do you use one for foam yes so these also can flow foam, foam through them okay As you can see they're marked there you got the cross lay of water and foam okay how much um, foam do we have on this engine uh 25 gallons that ain't too bad no and we can actually mix it in with the water so yeah it's a good concentration i see a lot of, i see a lot of german firefighters they um like use foam and water at the same yep. time yep and that's good for your car fires good for a gas fire or like a right. oil based and good for like if you have a bunch of straw bales on fire or something right people like to do that kind of right right it. um that controls our foam this controls our um like pressures and stuff like that very uh, cool level like literally this is how uncomplicated this is if i was going to pull up to a fire and i would uh pull that cross lay mm -hmm. yeah i would pull tank to pump mm -hmm. and i would pull this cross lay so you just pull water so you just pull that and then down here okay and that's literally all it is for that particular scenario you can get more complicated but okay. it doesn't have to be what does that button right there do which this here yes that's air horn okay so there's emergency signals that we use on the fire scene okay Let's say you want to get everybody out of the, the uh, structure mm -hmm. and you can go over the radio, be like everybody exit the structure and you can hit this air horn. I think it's like five times if it's uh, like not emergent and if, I think it's like three long blasts. How loud is it? Pretty loud. Yeah. It's loud, yeah. And they ain't gonna hit it anytime soon. No, no. <laughs> this here is like a basically another department for a pump operator. Okay. Um, we just have a bunch of like random tools in here, gas monitor, electric monitor. Very nice, very um, nice. All that stuff, ladder belts for when we go up on the ladder. Obviously, EMS stuff. Mm -hmm. This is like a AED for heart. Do you know what an AED is? You know that yet? No. Okay, so that's basically like a, um, if someone goes down um, with a heart attack or they're unresponsive, you can put that on somebody if it has a shockable heart rhythm. Okay. Um, which you'll learn about later. Yeah. Uh, it'll shock them for you. It's yeah. just so anybody can use it if they want. Nice. Um, and then here is the um, driver's, driver's side. Yep, you can hop up there and sit in there if you want to kind of see what it feels like. Sound the siren. <laughs> nah. Yeah. You want to record me getting up there? Sure, yeah. Right. Just be careful. There's a hand grab to your left there. Yep. Right there? No, right here. You're okay. right, yeah. And your left up there. Yep. There you go. It's pretty high. It's pretty high nice up. and easy and slow, up and down. That's a long ways to fall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not a soft yeah. landing. I can't even hot the horn. No. No, I don't. But yeah, we just got stuff that um, controls lights up there, yeah. sirens. Um, I feel like a fireman. Yeah, it's cool. I like being up there. It's fun to drive. Is it like, do you have to have a CEO license, a CEO license to drive this? Nope. Thing? We go through a, a training. It's called EBOC. Oh. Um, you can just learn how to drive the trucks. They send you through a course, and that's how you get certified. Oh, it's all through the fire to training. license to drive a big truck. Nope, not us. Not for this. It's different. Okay. Very handy. Oh, yeah. Nah. A little. 
little fall would never hurt me. There you go. Do you want to see the squad or anything like that? Sure. All right. I'll show you, you the whole tour of everything. Um, I feel like for the most part, not everywhere, and obviously ladders mm -hmm. and if it has a ladder or not, crap like that. Most fire trucks are set up about the same. Okay. Um, pump handles are always in the same spot. Mm -hmm. pump, you, if I can pump this fire truck, I can pump any fire truck in the U.S. Okay. It's all the same. Um, I can show you what the back here looks like. Yeah, kind of lucky. We haven't had a caller. Well, now I say something. We haven't yeah. had a caller or anything like that. You, uh, you yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna jinx you. Uh, <laughs> Wake up the squad, guys. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, so we have just all this obviously is all our medical equipment. Mm -hmm. That blue bag there is like our first end bag. So, like first aid kit, kind of? On steroids. Okay. Um, we have like, <laughs> yeah, we have like a blood pressure cuff. Um, we can check someone's pulse and the amount of oxygen in their blood. We check someone's blood sugar, like they're having a diabetic emergency or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. We have a bag valve mask in there that we can breathe for somebody if we need to. Nice. Um, we have some stuff to innovate somebody. Do you know, do you know what that is? It's where you like stick a tube down someone's throat and breathe for them. Oh, this is sound, it sounds terrible. It, it's kind of cool to do. Um, it's, it's kind of a neat skill to know. Right. Um, we got stuff in there to do that. Mm -hmm. the oxygen tanks in there. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of like a rescue truck, like, you know, like how some um, tr fire stations, they have like a rescue squad, so it looks like a fire truck, but it's kind of like an ambulance. Yes, so this is not quite like that, I think, if I'm thinking what you're thinking. Um, it, is, it is just an ambulance. It doesn't have, it does have some, I guess, extrication equipment on okay. it. You could use that, but it is pretty much just an ambulance. We call it a squad. Okay. Um, but sometimes like your big cities, they got squad companies. Right. But they're actually like um, firefighters that are on steroids. They're going to go in and bust down doors, do searches, and uh, yeah. do that kind of stuff. How many guys do you have staff on this on this ladder? Oh, oh, see, I told you, I, I shouldn't have said nothing. Oh. Yep. Yep, nice meeting you too. Is it okay if I film you guys responding? What's that? Can I feel you feel me guys responding? Alright. <laughs>